Joining us live is the National Senator Matt Canavan. Matt, good morning. Good to see you again. So it's almost a lock that the RBA will lift rates today. So that will be the ninth time in a row, despite that pause in January. Your thoughts on where that is this morning and the cost crunch that's only going to get harder for folks? Well, we've got to get inflation under control, uh, Peter. And the inflation number came in at 7.8% uh, just the other week. So still at uh, very, very high levels uh, and obviously it's going to be very, very tough for lots of households on mortgages uh, with interest rates going up. But if the RBA doesn't make the tough decisions now, there'll be tougher times ahead. Uh, we have to get that inflation number down. It's really, really bad. It's tough for people. Uh, real wages are now declining. Uh, they have almost for a year now. Uh, in the forecasts, are even the RBA forecasts, uh, that uh, real wages are possibly not going to increase for, for three years in total. Uh, so it is very tough for mm. people, but as I say, tough decisions have to be made. Well, well, I just yeah. hope the government as well shows uh, uh, shows some spine. Uh, getting a lot of inconsistent messages uh, from this Labor government. Today we read they do want spending discipline, they want to offset new spending measures, uh, the things you should basically be doing in government. Uh, when just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Jim Chalmers said he wanted to remake capitalism and he was, it was almost like he was going to open the spigots to new amounts of social spending left, right and centre. So... Uh, it would be a lot better for the markets uh, and for inflation if the government could be consistent here uh, and show, show, show some resolve uh, to get inflation under control. Well, the government uh, well, quite rightly points to a global story, but locally its policies, i.e. energy, need time to come through. Does that stand? Well, the government now has made two promises to cut your power bills, and uh, I suppose your viewers, Peter, can make their own judgment. Do you... Think your power bills, or do you see them going down? I mean, I just yeah. got mine. My wife and I got ours. It went up 300 bucks uh, before the last election. The government said they'd cut my power bills, your power bills, yeah. by almost 300. But again, it needs time because it's part of a global story. Well, that's not what they promised. That's not what they promised. And um, of course, there are global factors uh, here, um, but there's a lot that's going on locally. In in fact, in fact, uh, uh, the respected uh, energy market analyst, Energy Quest, last week told our Senate Cost of Living Inquiry that, in their view, the Ukraine war is only worth about 1% of the price increases we're seeing. When you saw when did gas prices go up last year, it wasn't after the Ukraine war here, in Australian gas prices, I should say. The Australian gas prices went up when we had an electricity uh, shortage in, in the mid-year, in June. It was wholly and solely domestic because we haven't been investing enough in reliable power. Now, we face this winter exactly the same risk if it's uh, cold and uh, not particularly sunny, uh, we will again have a crunch in electricity system, especially after the Liddell coal-fired power station shuts. And the government's got to get serious here about bringing on more supply. That's the only way to bring electricity prices down over the long term. Do, do you support subsidies for energy bills for low-income earners come budget time? Yeah, look, I, I mean, I think uh, we, we have to help out people on lower incomes at these, these sort of times. And, and, and the opposition said like last year that we weren't against uh, the the energy price relief the government uh, uh, in a sneaky way tried to to merge all of their socialist price cap legislation with uh, that energy price relief uh, so I think some relief has to be given uh, to people on on lower incomes here the problem is where is that relief uh, the government called us back uh, for an emergency sitting uh, just before Christmas they said this was an emergency we're now we're now uh, almost two months on since that legislation passed the parliament. And we don't even have the details yet, Peter, about where this, it's $1.5 billion from the federal government, $1.5 billion from the state. Where is this $3 billion worth of energy price relief? I mean, people are hurting now. Why isn't that rolling out right now? It seems to me that the government is uh, keeping its powder dry because it wants to come out with a big slash splash in its budget. Well, I don't think it's fair for poorer families in this country to have to wait for the government's timeline of a May budget they need that relief now. The, the money has been appropriated. It's passed the parliament. It should be heading out the door this week. Mm.